this is Miss Rachel and Ivy coming at you. Princess Ivy today, or are you a queen today? Queen today. She's a queen today. So we are here to share with you what we've been reading this week. And I think Ivy wants to go first. Uh, so what are some books that you're reading? First. Oh, you want me to go first? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. All right. Of course I have a yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> she does have. We do lots of crafts in our house. So we're going to start with my recommendations and what I've been reading this week and what I think is awesome. So the first one I want to share with you, I have two. One for kids and one for adults. Um, so the first one I have is Scary Stories for Young Foxes. This one just won a Newbery Honor Award. It's by Christian McKay Heidecker. And I don't know why I picked this one, because generally um, I don't do a lot of scary stories. But I know that a lot of the kids that I do book talks for in, the, in our Frankfurt community really like scary stories. And I know this one's not going to disappoint you. Um, so it's a bunch of short stories kind of moving together into one big story. Um, these seven young foxes go on an adventure and they end up meeting a um, tail spinner or a storyteller um, and he um, says to them, he says, are you sure you want to hear these stories because they're going to make you kind of scared and they're like we're not scared we're ready for this we can do this and after every part of the story that he tells one of the little foxes kind of trots away and says oh i think i've had enough for today um so if that tells you how how scary these stories are um i think it's going to be a really good ride for you if you like kind of the roller coaster up and down of some thrills and chills and scary things. Do you like scary things, I? You do. So you might like, like this one too. We might read bits and pieces of it together. Okay? So that is Scary Stories for Young Foxes. And then the adult title that I have been reading for a while, but it's taking me a while to get through because you can see it's very large. Um, it's called The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Ooh. Shannon. I know, isn't that a gorgeous cover? And it's got a dragon on it. Um, it's a it's a high fantasy series. Um, she's got another series called The Bone Season. So this is her new one, and I think the second one's coming out soon. But as you can see, it's kind of big, so it's taken me a while to get through it because I do spend a lot of my time reading books for the kids in our community. So when I do get a chance to read an adult title, um, I tend to gravitate toward fantasy. So if you're looking for a good, the start of a really good high fantasy series, this is one for you, The Priory of the Orange Tree. Okay, and then now I think I wants to share the ones that she has been reading this week and the ones that have been our favorites. Do you want to share it? Uh-huh, but I have an really itchy oh, you have leg an, right here. <laughs> you have an itchy leg. You little leg. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what's the first one you want to share? Okay, now I have scratches all over. Do you want to share pizza or do you want to share leprechauns? Hmm. What are we sharing? Mm. You got to decide. It's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yeah, we just got done with St. Patrick's Day. So Ivy wants to share with you. You want to share the front? Can you see it? How to Catch a Leprechaun Hi. by Adam Wallace. I want to We've been reading this one, and Ivy wanted to share with you her favorite page. Do you want to open it up? Yep, so that's her favorite page. The toilet's overflowing yeah. with green, and the sink's overflowing. Oh, my gosh. And the bathtub's overflowing. And the bathtub's overflowing. So we can't read the whole book to you, but I think you kind of know that these kids are trying to catch a leprechaun, right? So we've been reading it all week, even after St. Patrick's Day. Did we catch a leprechaun last week? No. no. We got gold coins. Oh, we did get lots of gold coins. It was super awesome. All right, what's the other and one? And we even oh. got glasses. Yeah, we he, he left us rainbow glasses, which was really cool. That was nice. Yeah, of him. and tell this stuff that we did. Oh, yeah. He turned our toilet green, just like in the story. Yeah. It was really silly. And he sneezed in the sink. <laughs> he sneezed in the sink. He did. There were green green bogeys in the sink, weren't there? Yeah, it was really gross. <laughs> Ours is light green and his is dark. 
<laughs> really weird. Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> Shouldn't they be the same? I know. I don't know why leprechaun bogeys are different than human bogeys. All right. So what's the other book you want to share with them today? This is Ivy's last one. Okay. What is it? Oh, this one's called pizza. pizza, an interactive recipe book. So we love pizza in our house, right, Ive? Yeah. Yeah. So this book kind of goes through the steps and explains how you make a pizza. Yeah. And it's really cool. We've had this one for a while. So Ivy really liked this one when she was really little, too. It's a board book. Um, so, and there's one about, it's called Cook in a Box. It's a whole series, or Cook in a Book. I'm sorry, Cook in a Book. Um, and... There's different ones. This one is pizza, and you want to show them the, the, your favorite page. Of course! Pizza! It's where the pizza's done, and can you show them what happens? Yes! The pizza slice comes out, so there's lots of little interactive elements throughout this entire book. And so we think that you and your toddlers and your preschoolers and even some babies would really like this one, don't you think, Ive? And you can also learn how to make a pizza! All right! And we Pretty cool. use this as a what? cookbook. We do. We do use this as a cookbook to help us make pizzas, right? Yep, even if we don't know. That's right. So those are some books that we're reading this week. Um, Miss Jen's going to be up next telling us what she's been reading this week. We look forward to hearing from it. Say, can't wait to see what you're reading, Miss Jen. Can't wait what going to read it, Sam. <laughs> Say, see you later, Frankfurt. Bye. Bye. See you next week.